General Jonathan Wainwright, haggard from his long enemy imprisonment, has been flown from Manchuria. General Doolittle, General Doolittle, in just 22 minutes, one great phase of history has ended. Out of Washington comes a message on the surrender from President Truman. God grant that in our pride of the hour, we may not forget the hard tasks that are still before us, that we may approach these with the same courage, zeal, and patience with which we faced the trials and problems of the past four years. Roaring over the Missouri are almost 2,000 planes, symbol of the great fighting power that brought us victory. Today's power for a better world of peace. This is the first color picture of the Viking II landing site, proving that this area of Mars is red, just as the Viking I site was. Other data shows it is colder, lower, and wetter. The poorest lava-like rocks must have come, scientists declare, from volcanic eruptions. The site, flat with the horizon two miles away, rises on the right from an extremely flat plain. The rise could be the downslope from a crater. Scientists, after more analysis, are now convinced that it's Martian soil thrown up by landing that appeared to be a rip in the antenna that sends the TV pictures and data back to Earth. In any case, the antenna is now working perfectly, as is the rest of the spacecraft. The seismometer, which failed on Viking 1, is working on Viking 2, and has already sent back preliminary data. Scientists are split on whether Mars was once hot and is now cooling rapidly, or is warming before beginning biological evolution. So we don't know really where we are in the evolutionary cycle, and, and of course that's part of what we're trying to find.